Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Beige. If you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and comment down below before you leave. So that magic lace wig that you just saw, yes, I'm gonna call it magic lace wig because that's exactly what it's looking like. You literally see no traces of lace at all in my intro. Like look at it, rewind it and look at it again. Look at it two more times, like it's flawless. This wig is from Chris Beauty, y'all. I'll have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct links down below in the description box. So the wig that I was sent is an 18 inch, 13 by six, kinky curly, clear lace wig with Chris Beauty's new clean hairline. All right, so let's test out their original transparent lace versus their brand new upgraded clear lace. Applying even New York's adhesive spray, I'm gonna first add a sample of that transparent lace to my arm. Then I'll be doing the same thing, but this time adding that clear lace to my arm. Which one looks more natural? Which one is more seamless? Do you notice the difference? Let's chat down below in the comment section. So what makes Chris Beauty's new clean hairline so special is the fact that if you are a beginner, this wig is completely beginner friendly. So that means that everything is already done for you as soon as you take the wig out of the package, it's ready to be installed onto your head. The first thing that I am going to do is tint the lace on this wig so that it could be a perfect color match for my complexion once I install this wig. I'll be using two different colors of lace tint. The first color is the color of my foundation and I'll be spraying that along the hairline portion of the under portion of this lace frontal. The second color is the color of my scalp, which I'll be spraying on the inner portion of the lace frontal. I'll be doing two different layers of each color of lace tint and then blow drying in between each layer. Okay, so now I am just going to define the beautiful curls. I'm grabbing a spray bottle of water, a styling gel, my Denman brush, and a detangling comb. In small sections, I'm just going to start by detangling the section of hair, spraying it with water, applying that styling gel, and then brushing through it with my Denman brush. Of course, curly hair does have different textures throughout and I love to add tighter textures on my wigs by using perm rods. So I'm just going to section off where I want my sideburn curls to be. And of course I'm using a zigzag motion when I am sectioning off that hair because our baby hairs are not perfectly symmetrical. Um, so I'm gonna do that and then cut them shorter and then use a blue perm rod, water and gel of course. Roll that perm rod and allow it to air dry overnight. I'm gonna grab my diffuser and just diffuse this hair a little bit more so that I can have more elevation once it's fully dried. So now it is time to cut away that extra lace. I'm grabbing a pair of zigzag scissors and carefully cutting right in front of the hairline to remove that lace. Grabbing alcohol, I'm just going to clean off my forehead and then grab scalp protector from Walker Tape and apply that to my scalp. Grabbing the wig, I'm just gonna place it in its proper placement, making sure that all of the combs are lined up and that the hairline is where I want it to be. To adhere this wig down, I did use Even New York's Wonder Lace Bond. 15 minutes later, removing my headscarf, here is how the wig is looking. I'm just gonna grab my brush, spray some water on it, and then lightly go over the hairs that kind of got stuck together from that Wonder Lace Bond. You wanna make sure that you are not ripping any hairs out of the lace, but you're very carefully removing that extra adhesive from, um, you know, from the hairs. So now I'm just gonna do my adhesive and sponge method to make sure that the edge of the lace is fully laying down. I'm just gonna grab my makeup sponge and spray that Wonder Lace Bond on the makeup sponge and then lightly tap it at the ends or edges of the lace and then put my headscarf on for another 10 minutes to allow it to fully set. Next, I'm just gonna finish it off by adding this hair polisher. So I'm just gonna apply that to the hair and then just take my hands and my pick and just get this hair to get bigger. 
And here is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave them down below in the comment section. I will have all of the information, the promo codes, and the direct links to this wig down below in the description box. So don't forget to check down below for more information. If this is your first time on my channel, or if you are a returning viewer, but not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button below and give this video a thumbs up as well as comment so that I know you stopped by and I can't wait to see you all in my next video. Bye guys. Yeah, that's right. It's Bezos. Right. I, I, I.